Today I'm going to show you how to use the water sensor and the RGB module. So what we need on our project today is the our Arduino board, our water sensor module, our RGB, and a couple of connectors. First, we will connect the water sensor to our to our Arduino boards. So as you can see, uh, the water sensor has three pins. So the negative, the positive, and the signal pin. So by using the connectors, we will connect the water sensor to our Arduino board. So the negative, we will connect on the ground of the board. And the positive is on 5 volts. And for our signal pin, we will be using A0, an analog pin. So once connected, we will connect the RGB module. So our, so our RGB module has four pins. The R, the G, B, and the ground. So since we have spare ground on our Arduino board, so we will not be using a breadboard for this project so first we will connect the ground and we will be using the pins 2 3 for 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 our rgb pins okay pin 2 for our r Pin 3 for the G. Okay. And pin 4 for the blue pin. So that's it. Our circuit is complete. So after that, we will we will going to upload the code so that we can test the water level sensor or water sensor with our RGB output so please check the description below for the code uh, of our project so once you open the code you will see the Water, le water level monitor so we're going to set the RGB module as an output and our analog pin as input of our water level so let's connect the USB port so once we connect the Arduino to our port we will upload the code so click on tools make sure that the board is Arduino Uno and your port as Arduino Uno in my case I have the COM4 for our port so once once okay let's upload the code So while the code is uploading, I'm gonna get some uh, water just to test our water level sensor. What we're gonna do is we're going to dip the water level sensor into this cup of water to test our program. So, okay. 
So at the same time, we're going to open the serial monitor of our Arduino to check the data of our sensors. You can see here that the signal that we read from the water level sensor is zero. And for indication, uh, we use the RGB module to input red as low, green for normal, and blue for, for high, high level. So if we dip this water level sensor into the water, okay, let's dip it. Let's dip it a little. So you can see our signal from our water level sensor is around 6.30. So, and uh, our output uh, becomes color green. Okay. Once we dip it a little more, you can see the output of our water water sensor changes and and now around 700 so you can see our rgb led becomes blue if we lift the water level our rgb outputs green and then if we remove the sensor from the water we can see our rgb module uh, light as red so that's it for the water level sensor and the rgb hope you learned something from this a short tutorial on how to use the water level sensor and the RGB. So you can use this for a variety of projects involving water level and the uh, RGB LED as indicator. So I hope you like this tutorial and if you like this short tutorial please like and subscribe to our page or to our channel and see you on our next tutorials. Bye-bye!